Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And if you're following along with our Umbrella Academy Season 2 coverage, then you already know that we are spending this season focusing our comic book origins videos on some of the more supplemental characters in the show and in the comic books. We've already covered all of the main children of the family during our Season 1 coverage, so that playlist should be on the screen right now if you haven't checked out those videos. But the subject of today's video is Sir Reginald Hargreaves' right-hand man, the absolutely delightful Dr. Phineas Pogo. Now, before we get into today's video on Dr. Pogo, we wanted to hit you guys with a quick giveaway because you've been so, so supportive on this channel for Umbrella Academy and it's been awesome. We wanted to give away a couple copies of Umbrella Academy Volume 1 to show our appreciation. So to enter to win, all you gotta do is follow us on Twitter. The links are below in the comment section and also on the screen unless I'm trash at editing. Now, on to the subject of today's video, Pogo. Dr. Phineas Pogo made his comic book debut in the very first issue of Umbrella Academy titled Umbrella Academy Apocalypse Suite No. 1. You see flashes of him throughout the issue, but he's completely visible on the second to last page. Pogo is a hyper-advanced chimpanzee that was gifted extraordinary intellect by the mad scientist father of the Umbrella Academy, Reginald Hargreaves. Pogo acts as a right-hand man to Reginald and performs a wide variety of tasks for him, everything from being a butler to assisting him with various experiments, and even helping the Umbrella Academy on missions. He's visible helping the children in the first issue of the Dallas miniseries by giving them dynamite to blow up an animated statue of Abraham Lincoln. I don't really think that you should be giving children dynamite, but you know, what do I know? I'm not a hyper-advanced chimpanzee. Additionally, Pogo watches and helps raise most of the children. While he's not as close to all of them, he is, by his own admission, Luther's best friend. He also spends a good bit of time comforting an emotionally unstable young Vanya. He consistently helps her feel loved and accepted when she's constantly shunned by Reginald throughout her entire life. Pogo is most active in the first arc of Umbrella Academy. When the comic series starts, the team of child superheroes, the Umbrella Academy has grown up and disbanded. Pogo's first action in the comic is to inform the children that their adopted father has died. How does he die in the comics? Nobody knows, it's mysterious, but that's a topic for Reginald's video, you can go check that out. Again, we still don't know, so don't go there looking for the answer because we don't know. Initially, Pogo is most invested in number 5 when he returns from the future. Pogo runs tests on him to help identify his condition and why he reverted back to a childlike state. Initial analysis of number 5 by Pogo shows that he's stuck in time unable to age. 5 also brings Pogo along during their investigation of an attack by a villain named Terminal, and during the subsequent investigation they end up in a massive gunfight with Temp's agents at a diner before escaping back to the estate. The next morning, Pogo and Five are discussing the events of the diner when Five puts on his father's old monocle as a joke before starting to tell a story. However, when he looks at Pogo through the lens of the monocle, he sees all of the pain and experimentation that was inflicted upon Pogo to transform him into the being that we see today. The subsequent shock of all of it at once causes Five to black out. He appears to have like a seizure, but... Throughout the events of the first arc in the comics, Vanya is learning how to use her powers, and in the process of this, she ends up being changed into the White Violin by the Symphony of the Damned. For more information on that, check out our video on Vanya. When Vanya assumes command of the symphony and unlocks her latent powers, she returns to her childhood home in the base of the Umbrella Academy. Playing a note in D minor, she's able to completely destroy the building and then she moves on to destroying a memorial statue dedicated to her late brother Ben Hargreaves. This senseless destruction causes Pogo to cry out in defiance, and Vanya, using her abilities, kills him by blowing his brains out. After the events of Apocalypse Suite ends and the world is saved by Klaus, the Umbrella Academy erects a statue dedicated to him on the grounds where the house used to stand. Thus ends the comic book history of Pogo. Except it doesn't. Boom, switched it up on you. What other YouTuber gives you this kind of razzle-dazzle? Nobody, that's who. Anyways, as you may have learned during our other Umbrella Academy videos, time travel is a big part of the Umbrella Academy series, and because of that, we do see Pogo again when the team travels back in time during the events of the miniseries Dallas. Klaus digs up the grave of Pogo and finds that he is no longer buried there. Instead, there's a time agent from the Temps buried there. Ooh, spooky. And the team uses his body to go back in time to 1963. But instead of Dallas, they're transported to Vietnam where they join the service. A ton of this is covered on our videos on Diego and Klaus, but not the point. 
They travel back in time to prevent the assassination of JFK. However, when they are back in time and trapped in Vietnam, Klaus is able to contact and employ a much younger version of Pogo to help the team build a device called a Televator. A Televator is a device that acts kind of like a transporter, except through multiple layers of space and time. Luther tries to tell Pogo what's going to happen to him in the future, and much like Marty tried to tell Doc in Back to the Future Part 2, Pogo is unwilling to listen not wanting to know too much about his own future. The team then leaves in the Televator from Vietnam, and we never see Pogo again. And that is pretty much everything about the character Pogo from the comic books. And personally, I've always really liked Pogo both in the comics and in the show. I know he's not everybody's favorite character, but I think he's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot, and if you did, remember to do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do. Like, and subscribe, and comment, and blah 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 blah, sign over the deed to your house to me, and all those other things. I don't know. This has been Nick from Key Issues. Thank you again for watching, and remember the motto, hyper-intelligent chimps over everything.